What's up everybody, my name is Tony, some of you know me as Game Dev Carto, and I'm the lead systems designer on H1Z1. The team has been hard at work with this game update, I'm excited to share some details, so let's do this. First things first, team scoring is here. Grab your friends and see how you match against the competition. Get scored based on your team's kills, assists, and final placement, and see how you compare on the leaderboards. In addition to team scoring, Preseason 5 will introduce a new tier between Diamond and Royalty called Master. With the addition of the Master tier, Royalty tier will be even more elite. In-game, we've made some changes to the inventory, so we'll no longer auto-sort while you're salvaging. No more guessing where your items are going to jump to. With this update, we have a new gas system that allows us to end the match in more places with more variety. So now, places like the dam will be visited a bit more frequently than they used to. To accompany the new gas mechanics, we also gave the spawn system a bit of love to make sure you don't spawn too far from the initial safe zone, but far enough to keep you guessing where it will be. Finding a laminated armor should be a rare and epic event, and the days of finding four lammies in a single bedroom are behind us. A laminated armor will now do a radius check to make sure that two lammies don't spawn within 250 meters of each other. If you can't find one, hit up an airdrop, since every airdrop will have at least one lammy in it. We've made some changes to vehicles. For starters, the pickup truck now takes zero damage and zero slowdown from running through destructible objects, so feel free to smash through backyards with a bit more freedom. We also decided to increase the truck's acceleration and top speed so it's more in line with the off-roader. All of these changes combined give the pickup a more defined roll and make it more enjoyable to drive. The off-roader also received some love and had its turning radius tightened. Plus, we've removed any hill climbing throttling from the off-roader, so now you can drive full speed up those steep hills. In order to make the off-roader the go-to vehicle for mountainous terrain, the police cruiser's hill climbing speed has been slowed down just a little bit. It can still climb all the hills that it used to, it will just take you a little bit longer. We didn't just improve the mechanics with this update, we've also added more content and created new places to fight it. We've added three new major POIs to the map. Koi's Car Salvage west of Pleasant Valley, Ponyvale Equestrian Estates west of Cranberry, and Emerald Hydra Site 7 east of Cranberry. But we didn't stop there. Keep an eye out and you'll notice a few smaller spots too. We've also got a brand new skirmish for everyone to enjoy, Pleasant Valley Nightmare. In this skirmish, the matches are much faster as the gas is already advanced to surround Pleasant Valley. And oh snap, it's nighttime. So prepare your mollies and get ready for some controlled chaos in the dark. We're stoked for this update and we hope you guys enjoy it. Please send us your feedback and we'll see you in game.